Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a pretty kind of nifty and kind of intriguing way to go and see how Sony actually has somewhat of a new way to go and, well, basically get rid of third-party scalpers. And as well, kind of giving a chance to give more people chances to get their consoles and just very, very intriguing stuff to go and see. So I'm going to go talk about this because, well, I kind of wish this would be happening more often or as well, maybe you guys would disagree. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, you guys totally can. So it's kind of been like a very, very kind of nifty kind of tie-in to as well. And how people are able to go get their consoles, how people are going to get them, like, kind of without having to worry about, like, lines and cues and everything else. And at the end of the day, I mean, I'm kind of more of a big fan where we've been seeing, like, other different types of methods and other different types of things that think basically things to go and, well, stop all these scalpers and stop all these botters from getting all these consoles. So, very intriguing stuff. As well as any of you guys are brand new, before we fully dive in the video itself, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 Disc Digital Console Controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. And sign up for Weeble, sign up for Coinbase, and get all that good stuff too as well, all put together. And I'll see you guys all down the links down below if you guys want to check it out. So, for this, as I mentioned, we have some very, very interesting promotions that have actually been going on from regions. Now, when it comes to the consoles, we've seen some very, very intriguing things throughout the years. We've seen some people that basically have, like, the companies themselves literally get knives and just go and open up the console in front of you. So, it basically goes and ruins the box. And we've also seen, like, you know, so basically you try to pull it out, you can't have even get your console, you basically have to look at the console itself, and it's automatically put into the, like, quote-unquote, used category. Which would make sense, too, it basically like, calms down in third-party sellers, because most of the time people would rather just go have a normal, unopened, unopened box. They want to be the one to, you know, have the enjoyment, they want to see the technology, they're paying $500 plus dollars for it, they want to get it. We've also seen other instances, too, where they basically will write down your name. So we've seen some times they go and, like, specifically be like Mr. Rogers or whatever it is, and then as that goes in the box, Number one, that kind of leads into who might be getting the console. So, like, basically, you know, Mr. Rogers is the one that bought it originally. And then if they're trying to resell it, basically, their name is fully on it. So, it's, you can't, like, scheme it or be like, oh, my brother got a second one on accident. You know, a lot of stuff like that. So, we've been seeing this. We've been looking at this. And it's been very intriguing to see on how we've been seeing Sony interact with these. We've also seen, like, different types of things as well, where they basically put, like, tape on the, uh, you know, the cardboard, like, cutouts, like the squares or whatever. Where basically, they're basically making it where it's like, well... This is 100% a Sony console. If you open this, it's broken. Like, a lot of stuff like this. Like, basically being like, don't scout. But the one intriguing thing, and I'm kind of curious your thoughts on this, is they actually have a brand new promotion where it's more so kind of linked to, like, social credit, for kind of a lack of a better term. And I'm kind of curious what you guys would think if this would actually would come to America, and if you guys would like this, dislike this, or whatever. So... When it comes to all these consoles, too, as well, we've actually seen this happen before. So, apparently, this was actually news about, like, a month ago or so. And then, as of recently, it's now turned into a part two of it. Where, actually, they've actually been doing even more of it. Because, so, apparently, there might be some good success. So, basically, this is over here where we have brand new, basically, deals to go and stop scalpers. Where, uh, in Sony, China... Basically, they basically have, like, a big batch of PlayStation 5s available, and as they're all available, they're basically for sale on specific type of uh, websites, so this is called Billy B, Billy Billy, <laughs> which I probably said completely wrong, because I've never heard it myself before, before doing research on this, and they kind of say it's kind of like more of a YouTube I maybe say for that, maybe an easy example would think, like, maybe like a Reddit, if you guys ever use a Reddit, where it's basically, like, hey, you've had your account for three years, or hey, like, you haven't been banned, or hey, this is a brand new account, or hey, you have your credit card and verified email, and it kind of gives you, like, a chance to go and get your console through that, which is very intriguing. It's basically, like, kind of like I said, kind of a little bit of, like, a social credit type thing, type system, where it kind of goes and gives you some uh, longevity, I guess. And, well, it just kind of gives you a good excuse to not have to deal with bots. So, basically, what they're kind of comparing this to is, like, the equivalent if, like, a number of PS5s were available to Twitch users with a certain number of channel points, and perhaps it's more so to stop scalpers, which, in my honest opinion... That's probably number one kind of big thing to kind of promote out other different types of websites. And then number two, very nice to go and obviously stop scalpers. Because if you have a scalper, you have to have your account. And if obviously, as we've kind of seen from like Best Buys and Targets and even Amazons, sometimes <laughs> is what that all basically only allow one account per system. So if you have an account, and like hypothetically, let's say it's like a Reddit account just because it's kind of easy, or even a YouTube account, you have it. You haven't been banned. It's been like you've had your account for over a year. And then you basically would have a priority access to have a chance to get your consoles. Mainly because, well, they know you're not probably going to be a bot. They know you're somewhat loyal to the website. And they know that ideally you can't be mass making those if they have to be at least a year old. And I mean, there's always those really kind of weird freak accidents where someone makes an account maybe like, you know, a year ago. <laughs> I mean, 10 of them for God knows why. But at the end of the day, if you've had an account for a while, it's kind of usually putting you more into the like... Usually not a bot, usually not making new stuff type of category. So very intriguing. So basically what they do 
as I mentioned, it's kind of like you kind of have like almost like a raffle system on like who is able to go get the consoles and why. And it's kind of intriguing just to kind of go and see. So this actually happened a few weeks ago, and we kind of saw it trickled into the news. But well, apparently there's actually been even been another big brand new promo too as well involving the same exact thing. Where they're actually now once again trying their best to go and calm down on scalping and botting by basically having these account systems that have to have like a pretty long account age to go get their consoles. So we've been seeing stuff as well as so you guys can kind of go through the articles over here where it's like Sony Combat's PS5 scalping in China with a new purchase requirements too as well and you have to be like the level three and like the billy billy so as you guys all know it's just it's still been hard to find your consoles and i do want to say it's been nice because we have been seeing more alternate ways for people to go and get the consoles we have been seeing like you know like i mentioned at the start of the video different types of anti-scalping but things different types of anti-botting things and with all this put together it does kind of seem like more and more and more consoles are getting in the hands of normal people as well, if you guys remember on this one, too, we even had, like, a lot of the scalpers, too, as well, where even, like, U.S. senators were even proposing those laws, which, funny enough, we still haven't actually not had a chance to go and see more information on it. I still wish that would have went live maybe a few months ago. Probably would have been fantastic, and I probably would have loved seeing that, because it probably just would have been hilarious to see all the comments and everything else up on, well, YouTube as well as up on Twitter, too, as well. So, as I mentioned, too, you basically have a chance to get, like, your own Billy Billy, which is on the Chinese version of YouTube, uh, YouTube and basically this kind of comes out from a lot of stuff. So, uh, kind of give me your I guess rough ideas from it it's a very exclusive deal and like i said it's probably the best comparison is like if it's like you're on twitch for a year and they have a, a chance or a raffle to get your consoles or you're on like a reddit community for like the r slash ps5 or something like that and you're able to go and go from there i think it's kind of cool at least in my opinion but at the same time uh we are thankfully still like slowly getting our consoles a little bit more and more and more and as well when it comes to, like the verification processes too i just like the idea that people aren't buying like 40 or 50 different consoles because at the end of the day I just want normal people to get their stuff so for this i would kind of think a really good comparison would maybe be something like let's say a ps Jurat where say you're a PS Plus member for over maybe let's say a year or maybe ever since the PlayStation 5. So if you've had your PS Plus for maybe or PS Now since maybe before the PlayStation consoles were even arrived, maybe you should have priority access. Something like that in my mind, I think seems like a fantastic idea. And you guys can leave your comments and thoughts down below because that would basically let people who have been active on the PlayStation 4, and they probably have bought, most likely bought in games, and as well have probably also gotten their PS, you know, plus, so they're giving Sony money itself, like, they're already in the ecosystem, they're already giving them money, so realistically, it'd probably be very likely for them to move into the PS5, maintain their PS Now and PS Plus subscriptions into the PS5, I know PS Now is going away, but you know what I mean, and then, well, just at the end of the day, make it a little bit nicer, and I do think, like, some of these bigger companies should be, honest to God, rewarding this long-term stuff just a little bit more, like, when it comes to, like I said, Sony, I feel like that'd be a perfect system to essentially incentivize and get more people getting their consoles. And, I'm, well, I'm sure there's some people out here even watching this video still who have been a part of PS Plus and had a PS5 or PS4 or PS4 Pro or PS3 or PS2 or PS1 for many years, and they just still don't have a chance to get their console. And, as obviously we've got all these other, like, bot issues with the PS Directs or Walmarts or Targets, it kind of it does stink a little bit. So... I really do like the idea, at least, that Sony is trying their best to push a little bit more into getting more selective and nicer features, allowing more people to kind of go in combat against scalpers and kind of calm down more so botters. Like, I, I always kind of complain about this on the YouTube channel itself. Botters are usually more of the bigger issue. So if you have, like, an individual raffle, you have to have, like, a uh, proper account for many months, and as well, you just have a chance to buy more than one console. All that put together, I do think, kind of puts you in a better chance to, especially when you have to go compete against other bots. So you guys can kind of give me your thoughts and comments down below. I think it's awesome. Like, I really do like the idea that we're seeing more anti-scalping, <clears throat> as I'm losing my voice, more anti-scalping and anti-botting going on. As well, just like the fact that Sony kind of seems like they're starting to go care, even when it comes to different regions such as Japan or China, and hopefully a little bit more in America, because we've also been seeing other places like Best Buy and Walmart and those locations also getting more and more attention and more and more focus and more and more stock. And the same with the PS Directs. But like I said, it'd be kind of nice if we see a little bit more PS Directs from maybe PS Plus and PS Now members to kind of reward people out who've been a little bit more on the loyal side. So kind of give me your thoughts and comments down below. Do you guys like this? Do you guys dislike it? Do you guys like the RNG chance? Let me know in the comment section down below. It does seem like they keep on popping up, so maybe if you guys are Chinese, you guys can go check out and try to get some consoles yourselves. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room as well linked down below. The Weeble and Coinbase down below, and the Twitter giveaway as well, all linked down below. And at the end of the day, I'm just so happy that we're finally getting every single day a little bit closer and closer and closer, getting towards the end of our nice little restart grinds and hustles, and hopefully we'll have a next next few good weeks for a lot of you guys to get your consoles in the near future but i appreciate you guys all so much for watching we'll have a lot more videos all throughout today and you guys are all beautiful and i love you guys